to kick off this day of advocacy, not just fun, something pretty dang exciting, guys. Um, there is a brand new United States Senator representing California. You may have heard his name is Alex Padilla, our US Senator. And we told him about our conference and he's been a partner of our community in the past, helping us when he was Secretary of State with our Disability Vote California project, which we talked about a couple of days ago. And we told him about the conference and, and he said, you know, he understands inequities and he understands challenges and he understands having to move mountains and he understands having to advocate. And he wanted to say a word to us today. I'm going to introduce Senator Padilla and then hand it over. Senator Alex Padilla is the proud son of Mexican immigrants. His father, a short order cook and his mother, a housekeeper. Alex attended Los Angeles Public Schools and is a graduate of MIT where he studied mechanical engineering. He was selected to the state Senate in 2006 to represent more than 1.1 million people in the San Fernando Valley. As a state Senator, he passed more than 70 bills including landmark legislation to combat climate change and was named one of Sacramento's most effective legislators. Alex was sworn in as California's first Latino Secretary of State on January 5th, 2015, and was re-elected in 2018, receiving the most votes of any Latino elected official in the United States. As Secretary of State, he worked to make our elections more accessible and inclusive while fighting to protect the integrity of our voting systems. In December 2020, Alex was appointed by Governor Gavin Newsom to finish the term of Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. It is my honor to welcome and introduce United States Senator Alex Padilla. It's great to be with all of you today. You know, I'm a proud son of immigrants from Mexico, and I'm proud to be the first Latino to represent California in the United States Senate. I grew up in the San Fernando Valley and I saw the inequities that exist in our society starting at a very young age. And I was inspired to build a career dedicated to public service and fighting for those who are too often overlooked. I'm inspired that you're coming together this week. I hope that this conference educates and empowers you to advocate for disability rights in your community, in the state capitol and in Washington, D.C. For 70 years, the ARC has led the fight for the civil rights and inclusion of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families, improving community living, education, income security, and more. I've been proud to work with groups like ARC throughout my career in public service. I know how important it is for policymakers to hear directly from their constituents with disabilities. I previously served as California's Secretary of State, and in that capacity, we convened a Voting Accessibility Advisory Committee. This committee brought together advocates to advise, assist, and provide recommendations to help elections officials better serve voters of all abilities. We also convened a Language Access Advisory Committee. California is home to so many whose primary language is not English including millions who speak primarily Spanish in their home. Now, this language barrier can often be an extra burden for Californians with disabilities. That's why language barriers must be addressed when we are developing policy to increase accessibility. One example I'm especially proud of is the expansion of remote access vote by mail systems to provide voters with disabilities the opportunity to vote independently and privately from home. Now, as a United States Senator, I remain committed to working with all of you. I'm proud that we now have a, an administration who will prioritize enforcing the civil rights of people with disabilities and work to include people with disabilities in policy development. Already, President Biden has created the COVID-19 Health Equity Task Force to provide recommendations for addressing health inequities caused by the pandemic, and he named Andy Imparato, a Californian from the disability community to the commission. I look forward to working with the Biden administration 
and my colleagues in Congress to deliver on real, substantive policies to build a more inclusive society for all Americans. In a year like no other, we are reminded that disability rights are civil rights. As we build back from the COVID-19 pandemic, the recovery must include greater equity for the disability community. Thank you again for having me. What a treat, what an honor to have Senator Padilla. Thank you, Senator Padilla. Disability rights are, it's like he knew what the day was, guys. Disability rights are civil rights, are human rights. Um, I also wanna acknowledge his little shout out to Andy um, here in California. If, any, if Andy's on or if anybody is gonna email Andy today, tell him Senator Padilla gave him a shout out. And uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, what, what a treat to have him kick off our final day of the conference. Um, thanks again to Senator Padilla and his staff for making that happen for us.